Hello, my name is Professor Anne Goodenough. I'm the course leader for the Applied Ecology postgraduate courses at the University of Gloucestershire. I'm absolutely passionate about wildlife and the natural environment and everything within it that cheeps, chirrups, runs, hops, flaps or grows. Through this talk, I'm going to give you a little bit of an introduction to the Applied Ecology course, the ethos behind it, the modules involved, and some information on where that course can take you. The Applied Ecology course, as the name might suggest, is highly applied. We get you out into the field as much as we possibly can. We cover a wide range of ecological techniques, including industry standard methods of surveying and monitoring species. When we first designed the course, one of the main things that was really important to us was thinking about the sorts of skills that people would need to become directly and quickly employable within the ecological sector and therefore what we needed to embed within the course in order for people to fulfil that ambition. The course itself is really flexible with a range of different awards covering a postgraduate certificate, a postgraduate diploma or a full masters. The course is extremely customisable and very flexible to enable you to choose modules that play to your strengths, choose topics within those modules that enthuse and excite you and ultimately enable you to fulfil the career direction that you want to take. We have a range of different modules. Within what you might think of as the core ecology grouping, we have practical ecological methods, ecological interactions, field ecology and applied conservation. And those modules together total 90 credits. Most students take all of these but no individual module is compulsory. Within the Practical Ecological Methods module, you'll be out in the field the majority of the time, and you'll be taught industry standard methods, including phase one habitat surveying, national vegetation classification, and a whole range of different ways to survey invertebrates, mammals, birds, amphibians, and reptiles. Within ecological interactions, you'll think about the range of ways in which species interact with one another and with their abiotic environment. You'll think about that in theory initially, but quickly accelerate into how and why that knowledge is important within practical and applied disciplines. Within field ecology, you've got two different options. You can either do a project with and for a host organisation. This is a great way of networking and really finding out what it is to work as an applied ecologist in the particular area of your choice. Projects done in the past are many and varied, but include photographic identification of adders in association with Natural England, considering different nesting strategies in different woodland birds in association with the RSPB, identifying optimal ways to survey hedgehogs in association with the Mammal Society and considering the impact of pine martin reintroduction in association with the Forestry Commission, now Forestry England. Alternatively, you may wish to accompany us on our annual field trip out to the savannah grasslands of South Africa. Students work together in groups to undertake a particular research project that's highly applied maximising time out in the field and learning about a completely different ecology, habitat and suite of species. Within applied conservation, we think about the practicalities of conservation and all of those things that might not necessarily be in textbooks. We particularly focus on a Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust reserve and that's a recurring theme within our modules, our course and our assessments to get people working on live project briefs and ideally bringing in practitioners from a wide range of fields in order to help students explore ecology. We also have a suite of five additional modules and students usually take two out of the five options available. These options are environmental governance, which looks at policy, legislation and decision making structures and is particularly important for students looking to work as an ecological consultant. 
we have citizen science and public engagement. And that module is very much about engaging with people and thinking about how people can be educated, enthused and inspired, all at the same time as advancing science. Our newest module is Nature-Based Solutions for Environmental Challenges, which looks at the way that nature can be used to, for example, reduce the risk of flooding and pollinate our crops. This module also includes consideration of biodiversity net gain, which is now a key metric in development and in ecological consultancy. Finally, we have two modules that look at geographical information systems or computer-based mapping. The first of these is Fundamentals of Conservation GIS, being good and effective practitioners at being able to utilise spatial data and spatial analysis in their ecological practice. If you want to take things a step further or already come to us with existing GIS skills, then the module Advanced Spatial Analysis may well be for you. And that's taking you from being a competent user of these techniques into becoming an expert. Finally, we also have the dissertation module. The world really is your oyster when it comes to this module. You can do it in the UK or abroad, in a whole range of different habitats from terrestrial through to aquatic and marine environments, and on a wide range of different species. You can also undertake a project that is fundamentally a piece of research and written up as a research report, or you can do something that's a little bit different, maybe looking at a consultancy report, a biodiversity audit, a reserve management plan, or possibly an educational pack or running a citizen science project. We've deliberately kept this module extremely flexible to allow you to do something that you're really interested in, passionate about, and that is useful to your future practice. If you opt to do the full masters, you've got two choices. The first is to do the course full time over 16 months, whereby you start in a September and you take your taught modules between that September and July of the following academic year. Your dissertation will take place alongside and partially overlapping that, with you starting the process in January and ultimately completing in December of your second academic year. In this way, the course duration is effectively one academic year plus a term. This has the advantage of allowing you to get familiar with the course and your master's learning before you start planning the dissertation. The dissertation planning itself happens in the dark, dreary months of winter, and you then have a spring and summer survey season before having a period of five to six months to write up your dissertation without also doing taught modules at this time. The second option is to do the MSc over 28 months. This is effectively two years plus one term and has a similar idea to the full-time route, but with you taking modules at a lower intensity for the taught element. If you wish to do the diploma, you will take this either full-time over the course of one academic year or part-time over the course of two academic years. The certificate is part-time over one academic year. The Applied Ecology course is based at Francis Close Hall campus in Cheltenham, a lovely campus, Hogwarts as many students refer to it as, that contains a whole host of different teaching spaces. Our most important teaching environment though is outside. We take you to a whole range of different sites. We're extremely lucky that we're right on the doorstep of the Cotswolds with its complete range of habitats right the way from ancient woodland to important limestone grassland. When we're out and about, we get you identifying things. You'll be spending a lot of time either using binoculars or hand lenses and going through using our complete range of field guides in order to help you identify key species and habitats. We don't only consider the species though, we also consider the environment in which those species live and frequently undertake analyses including water chemistry and soil moisture content analysis. We also teach you within the university's suite of environmental and biosciences laboratories. One of the most common things that you might encounter is using the microscopes 
in order to better visualise small features on species to assist with identification. In other cases though, we think in more detail about ecology in ways that you can only do in the laboratory. That might include pollen analysis or looking at parasite interactions. We can also create miniature landscapes to understand how environmental change might shape the ecology of the future. The GIS modules are taught in our purpose-created GIS computer suite, which is an amazing juxtaposition of an old oak panelled room and modern technology, including all workstations that have got dual screens. Our face-to-face -face sessions are complemented by you having access to all of the teaching resources at any time from anywhere in the world using our platform Moodle. You'll be very well supported in your course. We've got a range of staff from a range of academic backgrounds and practitioner backgrounds that will be able to give you the help and support you need all the way through. Running through the key people very quickly, my particular interest is anything to do with birds or mammals, but I'm also research active and have published on many other aspects of applied ecology, including plants, invertebrates and amphibians. Mark is our spatial ecology guru. Adam knows everything there is to know about citizen science and public engagement. Janet and John both undertake a huge amount of work influencing and shaping environmental policy. Chris brings the people aspect into our understanding of ecological management and conservation. Rob ably supports Mark in terms of everything spatial. And then Hannah, Will and Johanna together support laboratory work, field work and work in our library. Our academic staff are research active, frequently authors of key textbooks within the disciplines that you will be studying, people who will be publishing important findings as you go through the course and there's heaps of opportunity for you to get involved in that research as well. What opportunities are there? absolutely loads. There's plenty of scope within the course for you to find the bit of ecology that really fascinates you, for you to try out lots of different things and for you to become competent in a range of different techniques and to get hands-on with ecology, literally. All of our assessment is real world, no written exams for us. We very much deal with you creating your own ecological surveys, maps, computer projects, consultancy projects, and key, often groundbreaking, ecological research. We're enormously proud to say that our course has an amazing track record of getting people into employment. About half of people go on to work in environmental or ecological consultancy, with the remaining 50% split between research roles working for organisations such as Wildlife Trusts, the RSPB, National Trust, Natural England, DEFRA or Forestry England. And not all our students stay in the UK. Some go as far away as the Seychelles, South Africa and Mexico in order to make a difference in ecological disciplines around the world. Each year, around about a third of students come on to the Applied Ecology course, having undertaken an undergraduate degree in a related subject. Another third are already working in the discipline, but either want to change direction or upskill. And the remaining third? Well, they're people who don't have a formal background in ecology, but want to change their careers. We're much more interested in where people want to get to than where they've come from and a lot of our graduates have come from disciplines as diverse as English, Spanish, psychology, architecture and photojournalism. So don't worry if you don't have a formal background in science. If you want to do it, we're here to support you. What we mainly need from you is a huge amount of enthusiasm, passion and hard work. Come with a really big smile on your face, just like Ashley here who joined us in 2018 from Canada 
and is now working in bird research back in her homeland. One of the really nice things on the course is its comparatively small size. We have about 25 new starters each academic year. That's plenty of people to get along with, learn from and make friends with, while ensuring that you have enough one-to-one -one time with lecturing staff and that we get to know you as individuals and can point you in the right direction in terms of your future career. If you have questions or want to find out more, please don't hesitate to contact me with the contact details on the screen now or head to, to the course resources website of gloss.ac.uk forward slash AEC where you'll find details of our modules and also that all important link to apply.